Hi, this is Francis Nelson from the Computerium. A couple of weeks ago we received a really nice Osborne 1A, 1A computer. That's the follower of the first portable computer ever made. This is a machine with two 5 inches floppy drives and running CPM 2.2. This machine here is able to do both single side double density, that's the MFM recording format diskette, but the original Osborne 1 only could handle single side single density, the FM recording format disks. So what was our problem? The problem was that we had some system disks are joined and these were double density disks. You may easily copy, easily copy this disk on a PC using the well-known copy to PC software, preferentially booting into DOS on an older machine. But we had no application. For instance, we had no WordStar, no SuperCalc, all these programs that were bundled with the original Osborne one. You can find floppy images of this software. Most are in an IMD format from image disk. And I do really do not like image disk because it crashed all my hardware and I was not able to run it successfully. So I looked for another software image format, the Teledisc format. And I found on this archive, on this website, retroarchive.org, Meslin Discs Ospon, a file called OZZIP. And that zip file contains many images, single site, single density images, of the original Osborne One software. Now, how the problem is now how to get these image disks, these images on real disks, on real disks that you can run on the Osborne. So my hardware is this: I have an old two eight a keyboard two uh, with a two eight six processor with two five inches drive. These are standard PC drives with double side double density capability. I boot the machine into DOS 5 and I use the Teledisc 2.11 version. There is a 2.16 version which probably will do fine also. And mostly important, bulk arrays, a software joint in the package of copy 2 PC. What's the problem? The problem is that CPM originally has only single density disks and most floppy disk controllers of actual PCs are unable to create single density disks. So we have, we have to look to find some. And uh, looking is made easier by a testfdc.com software joined in the package of image disk. That's real a gem. Looking around in my attic and in the collection of older boards, I found two boards that worked fine. An Adaptec Combi Scusi and Floppy Disk Controller, the 1510. It needs no drivers. And a, also a 16-bit AT ESA board Goldstar JW2760. I guess all boards having the gold star ship will do, uh, will be capable of writing single density. So you just have to use the boards you find and check this capacity by running the test FTC program. Now, how do you make the real disks? Well, you boot into 5.0 and I recommend booting every rebooting the machine after every disk is made. 
First, you have to make a bulk raise of your diskette. So let's say this is a disk uh, you want to create with WordStar on it. So first you make a bulk raise of that diskette in, in, in your machine or in another machine. Then you launch ftdisk exe to write the file to the disk. TDisk gives you several options, but it's a very easy to use software. Uh, image disk has many, many parameters, many screws to turn, but TDisk is really easy to use. And uh, you just ch uh, choose, uh, take the option uh, write file to disk. What I did, I have a second machine, and on that machine, for every image to put on a, on a disk, I create a separate 5 inch disk having both the image file, for instance, something like that, and the TDisk program on it. And here, for instance, is a result that's the WordStar 3.3 version joined to Osborne 1 in a single site, single density format. On your Osborne machine, you may copy this disk from, you may simply make a copy in single density, but you also can make a copy in double density if you have an Osborne version like the A1A or a newer machine. So, with this, the problem is solved, and it's a problem where you find much discussions on the internet, and many people who uh, hindered or who uh, can do this problem with the single density. All burns down to use to finding the real controllers and to using an easy to use software. And let me say that uh, Teledisc is really easy to use. So let's play with WordStar and our Osborne machine. Thank you very much for your attention.